What's going on guys? It's currently Wednesday. I'm feeling like we gotta get some extra work in, which is why I'm taking you guys with me on a day of getting extra work. Man, look at all those drinks. By the way, here's what my room looks like. For those of you who never saw my dorm tour video, uh, it's pretty basic, but I live in Dunham dorm right now and it's all I need, it's all I need. And the good thing about living here in Dunham is, let me show you guys out the window right here. I live literally right across from the stadium and I'm about to go practice right there to get some extra work in. Take advantage of the few days I have to recover before the game on Saturday against Texas Tech. And you may also notice that the quality of this video is better than usual. That's because I'm using my Sony a7 III and sometimes it's just hard to take this with me. Obviously on vlogs for game day, I can't be walking around this big old camera. So I just use my phone, which, which does the job. It's iPhone 12. So and let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys want to see? What type of videos? Now I'm out of pre-workout, but thankfully I've got one of these one of these espresso shots. So I will chug that. I'm kneeling down right now to talk to you guys, but I did just order a tripod too that I'm gonna use to hook on the camera so that way you have steady, I have steady shots when I'm punting or whatever else. And also in the off season, just let you guys know if you're subscribed to this channel. I'm gonna be doing more challenges and other types of videos, not just the vlogs, but right now my priorities have to be straight, the Lord, football, uh, and then YouTube, and then school. I mean, that's kind of important, but at the bottom of the list, but anyway. Let's get some energy so this is a more hyped up vlog and not just stale. Ah, that'll wake you up in the morning. Yeah, there's a look at the tripod. It's pretty nice. It can also hold my phone so I can make videos on my phone with that too. Fun fact, I got this ball bag at the NFL Combine, the 2020 NFL Combine. It's pretty nice. This stands for punter kicker, so I was number 10 PK. And just a quick look on what's inside this. I got some OU balls from practice that I can just use um, when I'm doing my own extra work and a pair of cleats, of course, that's essential. And I might put a couple uh, water bottles in there. That'll be, that'll be necessary. Anything interesting going on out here? Not that I know of, but uh, last night it was pretty rowdy because there was a tornado warning. This floor. Guys, my uh, gingerbread house made it up here in front of Dunham. Uh, I made that one. So put some good work in, glad to see the work pay off, and I'm just kidding, I did not make any of those. Not gonna lie, man, it's colder out here than I thought. What the heck's going on, man? I'm from Arizona, Texas, and Florida. It doesn't get this cold till like never, but uh, I can't complain, it's really not that cold. I did do a year at Lafayette College, my freshman year. That was in Eastern Pennsylvania, which was much colder. Look who it is, it's Gabe, he's on the TV. Fun fact, this orange gold trophy is not actually real oranges, it's plastic. I'm at my locker now. Thankfully, I got the extra socks because I didn't bring any with me. These Jordan socks are pretty good to punt in. I prefer true socks when I'm actually, uh, when it comes down to it for game day, but these are the job. They're pretty comfy. The plan is to do some drill work, one steps, drops, maybe some body weight exercises, and then hit the cold tub, hot tub after and stretch. Yes. We had practice, but this is extra work. This is one of my favorite warm-ups is uh, getting my sense of balance correct before I go out. This really helps with my plant leg. And also, the, the ability to have the core strength to keep spinning is something that's not easy to rep. Oh boy, it's windy out here. It's windy out here. And as you guys can tell, we're still rocking the uh, Jordan TM sixes. You know, I gotta clean it a little bit, but hey man, look at my toes wiggle. That's how you know the leather is nice. Kangaroo leather, yes sir. So I just got out of the hot tub, and as you may or may not tell, I'm in the players' lounge now. 
like to stretch on this carpet because it's nice and soft and uh, my legs are still nice and warm from the hot tub and I can't get too pumped up because I don't want to work out too hard. My legs are already a little sore. I gotta let them recover fully for the game, but stretching is always good. So let's go ahead and do that. I always like to start with my quads first. The anterior part of my body first, my hip flexor, my quad, and then go to the posterior chain. The glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, and uh, kind of like my lower back too when I do the pigeon stretch. The punter stretch, so just the straight leg uh, hamstring. But then if you cross it over, that's really good too because now it's getting your glute your IT band and your hamstring all together. And when you pull your uh, toe, it also gets your calf. So I love this one, even my lower back. It's probably my favorite stretch, to be honest. This one's also a great stretch because it's getting your hip flexor and your glute. Uh, so it's called the pigeon stretch. Some people call it other stuff, but that's what I call it. And, uh, they heard that I liked Domino's and nothing refuels you like Domino's. So as you can see, the person got me like 25 different Domino's boxes. And uh, I'm just kidding, those are absolutely not just for me. They've been in there quite a while. I should probably throw them away. But I want to personally thank you for watching this vlog. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy. Hey, what do you, what do you have to say to the vlogger now, dude? Hey, hang time is the guy, best guy ever. I'm aware, but thank you, bro. The Lord has redeemed me. <laughs>